So good evening. Uh, for those of you who I've yet to meet, my name is Harry Bain. I'm, uh, I'm proud and privileged to serve as the president at Good Samaritan Medical Center. Uh, thank you all for being here, and we hope you've enjoyed the evening and refreshments thus far and had a chance to view our memory wall uh, and unveiling, and I'll get a little bit more into detail uh, on that later. First, I'd like to take a moment and acknowledge a few special people uh, in, uh, who are here with us tonight. First, uh, Bishop John Dewar, representing the Archdiocese of Boston. Thank you so much for being here. We have several board members here with us this evening. Uh, Dr. Richard McArdle, Chris Shepard, and Dr. John Crow. Thank you for being here with us this evening. <laughs> Mayor Bill Carpenter, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, some, other, some other elected officials who are here with us, Shirley Asak, Ann Beauregard, and Wynne Farwell. Thank you all for being here this evening. Thelma Beckles from our Patient Family Advisory Council. Thank you. <laughs> Partners in our business community, members of the Good Samaritan Leadership Team, and members of our 50th Anniversary Committee who have worked to plan and implement all of these things. Katie Wigley and Laurie Raymond who are here with us this, this evening, and Linda Burke and Roseanne Cristodoro. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> Today, marks the unveiling of our memory wall that has been permanently installed as a tribute to 50 years of amazing people caring for others. I would like to thank Stonehill College for allowing us to access the images from Stanley Bowman's priceless collection which they were preserved from, the Enterprise, Enterprise for providing the archive photographs, both the Enterprise and Brockton Community Access for serving as our media partners and sharing our message with our community residents who have sought care for themselves or their loved ones here at Good Samaritan for 50 years. And in a special way, Sign Design for taking our vision and creating something modern, beautiful, unique, and lasting. Thank you all very much. <laughs> if you've had a chance to see the memory wall, which I encourage you all to do to take a moment, you'll see that it's been carefully and thoroughly designed to reflect back on our proud history over the last five decades. It tells our story. It tells the Good Samaritan Medical Center story. From Cardinal Cushing's dedication in 1968 to treating our first patient from Boston, to milestones in technology, facility expansions, mergers and acquisitions, and our most recent achievement of becoming a level three trauma center. It tells our story. These are accomplishments we share with pride and with gratitude. We acknowledge and appreciate the contributions of our staff, our physicians, our volunteers who have been extremely dedicated to our patients and the mission of de delivering high quality care. 50 years ago, the vision of a new hospital to serve the residents of Brockton and our surrounding communities gained the attention and commitment of the Archdiocese of Boston due to the tremendous shortage of, of beds at the time. Since the day our doors have opened in 1968, Patients and families who sought care at the Good Sam knew that they'd be welcomed, respected, and treated with dignity and the best health care resources available. The tr that tradition and commitment continues today. Over the last five decades, Good Samaritan's history has in been influenced in many ways by the Cardinal Cushing Hospital, the Goddard Hospital, the Caritas Christi Healthcare System, and most recently, Stewart Healthcare System. Each step in our evolution of bringing new talent and skill, strategic investments, campus improvement, all benefit our patients and our community. We've started on our year-long journey of celebrating our birthday with our employees and our staff. We were honored late in January with His Eminence Cardinal Sean O'Malley to celebrate Mass in our chapel. Tonight is another major highlight, another major milestone in our celebration. We take this opportunity to reminisce with fondness about our past, and we look forward to our future with optimism for the next 50 years. Again, we want to thank you all for joining us here tonight and celebrating with us. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Richard McArdle, our longstanding board member, medical staff member who's now happily retired, and a member of our board of directors. Thank you so much.
Good evening, folks. I want to, as a representative of the Board of Directors, I'd like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the 50 years of Good Samaritan Medical Center and to look at our memory wall, which is, as um, uh, as Harry has said, is, is quite impressive. Uh, as a member of the staff for over 40 years, I'd like to thank especially the providers and the, the workers, probably numbering the hundreds to the thousands, who have worked here over the last 50 years. They are the glue that keeps this institution together. They are the, they are the people who, was, who have allowed us to, to be what we are today. As Harry mentioned, we are now a level three trauma center. We have the most emergency room admissions in the system. Um, we have a, a very robust and vigorous cardiac center, um, which I can tell you I was a, a, a benefit of. We, can, we have uh, a, an acclaimed orthopedic department. Uh, we have um, robotics and lithotripsies and a lot of the, the newer technologies that makes patient care uh, easier than it was in the past. However, it is always the people that makes the difference. As you know, every four years when we have a presidential election, the pundits always say, it's the economy, stupid. Well, in healthcare, it's the people. It's the people who come in contact with our patients, who generate the confidence so that they can come back or, or recommend our hospital to their families and friends. And it's this teamwork and this effort over the years which makes Good Samaritan what it is. I had the uh, privilege of starting here in 1975. Before that, in 1968, when the hospital started, we had people like Phil Conley, the chief of medicine, uh, Ed Gray was chief of surgery, Bill Sullivan was chief of orthopedics, uh, um, and the like. These are the people that found uh, that started the foundation of this institution who organized the structure and allowed us to continue. In, in fact, it was Bill Sullivan who did the first surgical case um, on the very first day the hospital opened. It was, if I remember correctly, it was a nun from Canton who broke her hip and it was repaired in the OR. These are, are people that, that help start everything and we owe them our gratitude. I realized firsthand starting in 1975 when I was a sort of an innocent urology resident who was moonlighting in the emergency room. I used to work on Friday nights from 7 to 7, just myself and Sue Sullivan, who's now a nighttime supervisor, as a nurse. And it was at this time I realized what a great place this was, that teamwork was really important. And I still remember one night about 1 o'clock in the morning we had an ambulance deliver us two young fellows who were in a Volkswagen who hit a telephone pole. It was pretty obvious they had fractured their ribs, had pneumothoraces, had ruptured spleens, livers, and actually one of them even fractured his pelvis and disrupted his urethra. I mean, horrendous injuries. And we were, just the two of us, were somewhat overwhelmed, but it struck me how quickly I was able to get general surgery, thoracics, orthopedics, anesthesia, everybody in as well as the blood bank people came down to see what, what we needed, as well as the lab and radiology. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of the night on a Friday night, we had lots of people who just pitched in above and beyond and helped. And fortunately, in retrospect, everybody did fine. So I realized then and that this was a nice place to work. And when I got offered a job about a year later, I realized, hey, this could be pretty good. But it's the teamwork, it's the effort by everybody who comes in contact with the patients that makes the difference. When patients come, they're nervous, they're anxious, they're worried about what's going to happen. But if we can sort of interact with them and make them less nervous and tell them there's hope, it makes all the difference. And I think that's why in the long run, the Good Samaritan has done so well. So enjoy the night. Hopefully in another 50 years, we'll be able to celebrate another time. But uh, thank you for all, for all those people who went before, and good night. Thank you, Dr. McArdle. Uh, speaking of people, we have a staff member uh, and a leader in our organization, Jean Coheno, who has been here for 40 years, who uh, would like to say a few words to the group. Did I get that right?
Good evening. I'm happy to be here tonight. I must say I am nervous, but I'm honored. As Harry said, I'm, I'm Jean Coheno, and I'm the manager here in the um, pulmonary services. I've spent my entire career here at Good Sam. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but I'm not the only one that's part of the 40-year-plus club. It's incredible. It says a lot about the culture here. Looking back, I'd do it all over again. One of the main reasons is relationships. I've been fortunate to work with so many amazing people. These connections are made even more special by the nature of the work we do. It's a privilege to care for people when they are in need. It's equally important to know that my colleagues have the same passion and drive to do their very best every day. That's what makes this hospital an incredible resource for the community. I believe we make a true difference. For me, it is a gratifying and satisfying feeling I take home every night. In addition, we have the great duty and pleasure of training the next generation of staff. Hopefully they'll spend their entire career here at Good Sam. I don't know what the future holds, no one knows, but I hope I still have quite a few more great years here at Good Sam. And thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, I'd now like to introduce Chris Shepard, another one of our board members, for a special citation. Thank you. Uh, it's my distinct honor and privilege to present this certificate of special um, congressional recognition on behalf of Congressman Lynch. Unfortunately, Congressman couldn't join us here tonight. Uh, he sends his regrets that he wasn't able to personally uh, read the proclamation, um, which reads... Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition presented to Good Samaritan Medical Center in recognition of 50 years of service and dedication to the health and wellness of the residents of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Signed April 26, 2018 by Stephen F. Lynch, Member of Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, now it is my pleasure and honor to introduce uh, Mayor Bill Carpenter to say a few words in uh, a proclamation. Thank you. First, I've got to say, I think Gene looks pretty good for someone who's been here 40 years, huh? And was, was, was I the only person that thought that when she walked up here? Must be a good place to work, yeah. Uh, good evening, it's a pleasure to be here with you all and, and uh, I do want to be sure to mention that uh, several members of our state legislative delegation were scheduled to be here, Representative Cronin, Representative Cassidy, Senator Brady, and unfortunately uh, for elected officials, it's budget time of year. So they are, they are stuck on Beacon Hill working on the budget tonight, but they send along their best wishes to Good Samaritan. I, before I give the proclamation, I just wanted to just make a couple of brief remarks about just how important it is to the city of Brockton to have a uh, Good Samaritan Hospital here. You know, when we think about the quality of life in a city like Brockton and Brockton being a 21st century city and us building of the city of Brockton into a city where people want to live, families want to buy their first home, people want to raise their children, having hospitals is really important. And I remember 32 years ago when I moved to Brockton with just two young children at the time, eventually grew to six, um, but we moved near the hospital. We bought a house near the hospital because we saw that as a real um, advantage to living in Brockton and, and thinking that if you've got young children, boy, what a great uh, amenity that is to have in a city to be able to live close to a hospital. So I think that um, you know, for a city like Brockton to become really this truly livable city, health care and, and the hospitals are, are really important. So we appreciate uh, what Good Samaritan Medical Center and Stewart Healthcare mean uh, to the city of Brockton. And, and there's also a big uh, economic <coughs> development Im impact also. Health care is the largest uh, sector of industry of jobs in this city, the largest employer of uh, 
people in the city of Brockton is the healthcare industry. And, you know, you'd be hard pressed, I think, to think of another city of 100,000 that has three hospitals in it. But Brockton does, and, and Good Sam is a big part of that and a big part of not just the present of the city, but the future of the city. Um, creating jobs and bringing people into the city. And I would be really remiss if I didn't at least say thank you for the $3 million a year in property taxes that you pay. So, <laughs> so that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that we desperately need. Uh, so I, I would like to, uh, on behalf of the city, uh, present an official citation to, to Good Samaritan. And it reads, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his appreciation to Good Samaritan Medical Center in recognition of 50 years of amazing people caring for others. For half a century, Good Samaritan Medical Center has been a consistent source of comfort and solace for patients. Those who seek care at Good Samaritan know that they will be welcomed, respected, and treated with dignity and receive the best health care resources available. This is an organization of champions within the city of champions. So therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation. And this citation is uh, duly signed by me today as the mayor of the city of Brockton. And uh, Harry, I'd be happy to present this to you. Uh, certainly, last but not least, a blessing uh, from Bishop Dewar, Father Rick, and Jerry Pesciello, our Director of Spiritual Care Services. Let's all gather around. Um, we, all have, we all know our friend Father Rick, and we all know he's famous for his holy water. He loves his holy water. Everybody gets soaked. Well, because the board is electrified, and for our health <laughs> and well-being, I said, no holy water tonight, Father. So he's very disappointed. We're going to cry all night. <laughs> <laughs> so let us begin. Dear sisters and brothers, today is a joyous day, a happy day for us at Good Samaritan Medical Center, as we unveil the installation of the memory wall in our lobby. The memory wall represents our story and rich history of a community hospital through the initiative of Richard Cardinal Cushing and business associates. The cornerstone was set in 1965 with the inscription dedicated to serve the people of Greater Brockton. Since the Cardinal's inaugural mass on January 13, 1968, to this very day, we have been dedicated to serving the people of Greater Brockton for 50 years as a Catholic hospital. This memory wall not only celebrates our presence in our community and the positive impact that it has made, it celebrates the amazing people caring for others over these past 50 years. That's 50 years of compassion, 50 years of healing, 50 years of caring for others, from all walks of life and circumstance, just as Jesus taught us through the parable of the Good Samaritan. Today we give thanks and ask for God's blessing upon us in our mission. I'm going to ask you to all join in this blessing. You know, one of the oldest forms of calling a blessing is to hold a hand above somebody. It's older than anything even in the Bible. Every religion on the face of the earth has always used it as a way to call a blessing. So I'd ask if you would to extend a hand towards this wall because it represents a whole lot of people, a whole lot of wonderful memories, a whole lot of work. God of our ancestors and Father of mercies, who generously strengthens us and showers his love and blessing upon all those who are in distress, infirm, and those who assist and care for them, let us ask God's blessing on all those who are and will be patients here and who devote themselves to caring for them. Let us ask the divine blessing on this memory wall, which illustrates our mission of compassionate care 
that we have done. May we be faithful to our mission in serving the needs of our community today and each day to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord on this wall, on everyone here and all those past and all those to come. Amen. Amen. Thank you. With that, uh, that concludes our formal uh, remarks for this evening. Welcome you all to uh, linger and hang out for uh, a few minutes and enjoy each other's company. And please, for those who haven't, come check it out. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.